Hey guys, I uh, got a crazy one today. A client sent me this 12AH flex fold pack and right out of the box, it just didn't seem right. Um, he mentioned that there were only three bars showing and as you can see here, he couldn't power any 60 volt tools though. So that was a uh, big red flag. I knew something was off because that's definitely not normal. Um, anyway, so I took it apart, but before we dive in, let me back up a bit. The first thing I noticed was that the battery didn't weigh what it was supposed to. And it's weird, but as soon as I took it out of the box, I contacted the client. I told him, like, hey, this doesn't seem right. I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure that this is fake. And, and I'll show you how I knew right from the start um, uh, later on in the video. But as I opened it, I could hear the cells rattling around. I mean, that's a clear sign something's wrong. Sometimes I get a pack where the spot welding has come off. Usually it's a simple fix, spot weld it back, balance the pack, charge it up. But that wasn't the case with this one. There was a... All right, so what was happening is um, the strips that are connected, spot welded to the batteries. There were two nickel strips that were loose. Here's the first one. And the other one was on the negative side of um, the battery pack. There's not anything else that I would like to go over in terms of the diagnostics because this pack um, is obviously fake and I've never seen a real pack show two bars or I mean sorry three bars and, and not provide uh, power to a signal. Alright so here I'm just measuring the nickel strip and as you can see the reading that I get off of these are about like 0 0.15, 0 0.13 millimeters and these are the fake strips and I do have um, a Dewalt legitimate genuine uh, nickel strip that they use in their battery packs and this is something I've taken out uh, I've, I've salvaged from another pack but uh, as you can see it's almost double and and the difference here and the reason why that's important is because that pack is is providing that amperage needed to power those tools and and the connection to the batteries should be um you know adequate for the type of cells that you're using and uh, for the tools that you're going to be using so that is a big red flag um you know a, a big downside to these fake packs not only are the cells fake but even if they were real um the the material that they use to connect these packs and nickel strips are just not uh good enough to power those 60 volt uh, power hungry tools. All right, so here is a genuine 12 AH flex bolt. And you can see all the newer flex bolt packs, they all have PCBs. They don't have wires to connect the balance uh, leads. So, I mean, that's a dead giveaway. If you open it up and you see wires and it's, it's a more recent pack, um, it's definitely a fake. All right, so this is how I knew right out of the box that there was something wrong. Here is the fake pack, and it weighs, as you can see, 2 pounds and 15 ounces. And, that, and the actual genuine pack, 3 pounds, 3 ounces. That's about a pound difference, and um, here is the cell. This is where I knew that there was a problem. The cells themselves weigh 2.3 ounces. There's 15 cells. That's about two pounds, a couple of ounces, right? So the whole pack, so it just doesn't make sense that this pack weighs this less and is genuine. And that's how I knew right out of the box that this was a fake and, uh, and I had to make a video out of it. Sorry guys, there wasn't much in this video to learn um, how to fix your packs, but uh, I promise I'm gonna keep recording these videos and, and try to get you guys as much information as possible. If, so if you have any packs or do you want to get your pack fixed, I'm going to leave my email in the description. Um, just send me an email, a picture, and tell me a little bit about what's going on. And uh, I can send you a label so you can send it uh, straight to me and uh, I can make a video out of it. Maybe, uh, you know, we can learn something from it. But thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in and uh, see you guys next time.